This is an Optiplex 5055 small form factor PC. And it's not your average Optiplex. This Optiplex actually has a Ryzen chip in it. So I came across a listing on eBay for this PC and it intrigued me because I've never seen an Optiplex with a Ryzen chip in it. And when I saw that it actually had included a decent amount of RAM, a hard drive, and even a GPU included, I became even more interested in this PC. So I decided to bid on it to see if I could pick it up at a reasonable price. And I ended up getting it for only 95 bucks, which I think is good since it came with 16 gigs of RAM, a 512 gig hard drive, and my favorite low profile GPU, the RX 550. I actually did a video a while back on the low profile RX 550. Uh, it's going for about 40 to 50 bucks right now on eBay. And for a budget build, uh, I think it works really well. So I could sell the RX 550 for 40 bucks and put that toward a better GPU. And I might do that in the future, but for now, let's take a look at the inside of this PC. And uh, yeah, it actually looks pretty good. I've gotten some really dirty and filthy PCs in the past, so this one doesn't look too bad. This is the most generic looking hard drive I've seen, but I wasn't expecting a Samsung or anything like that. So let's review what I got here for 95 bucks. Uh, got the Optiplex 5055 small form factor PC. Came with a Ryzen 5 Pro 1600, which has six cores and 12 threads. Came with 16 gigs of RAM, a 512 gig NVMe SSD, and a GPU is the RX 550 with four gigs of GDDR5. So now I'm going to see if right out of the box, if this can play some games and work as a decent budget gaming PC. So first thing I did was run the Heaven benchmark to see what kind of results I'd get. So I ended up getting a score of 804 and an FPS of 31.9. I actually thought this would do a little bit better than that, but let's see how it performs when you actually play some games. So here's Minecraft, and I basically just started playing. I didn't mess around with the settings at all. Uh, it is set to 32 chunks, and frame rate is set to unlimited. And as you can see, getting about 60 FPS here, and it looks great. No issues whatsoever. And here is Forza Horizon 5. I have it set at 1920 by 1080. This is on low settings. I thought big cuts would avoid major highways. <laughs> Not this one, my friend. Mira, next I turned off road and hit a danger sign on the way into Muleje. Welcome to Muleje. My aunt, Tia Rosa, runs a stall in the craft market. She was the one who first told me about the big cat. Here's CSGO 2. Uh, I can never get MSI Afterburner to work with this game, but overall it looks pretty good. However, I did experience some stuttering here and there with this game. Okay, now we have Fortnite set at 1080p in performance mode, and I set the frame rate limit at 120 FPS.
And here's GTA 5 um, 720p high settings. So considering I paid just under $100 for this, it's not too bad for light gaming and I'm sure this would do well with emulation. If you want to see a dedicated emulation video on this PC, let me know in the comments below. So that's going to do it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.